ไอ้เนาะนายงานโอยตามีงานปุ๊กกูก็อมาสก้าเปียวจายามาอินเวสต์เมียนมาร์ซัมมิตอินเวสต์เมียนมาร์ซัมมิตอินเวสต์เมีย
which provides a unifying and coherent roadmap for all future reforms. The MSDP can be seen as an expression of our national development vision. The MSDP is founded on a long-term vision, a vision of a peaceful, prosperous and democratic country. The MSDP also provides a detailed strategic planning matrix which will assist in the prioritization, sequency and implementation of strategic development and investments initiatives across all sectors and across all states and regions. The fifth goal, natural resources management and environmental protection, is aimed at protecting not just our country, but our planet through sustainable environmental and natural resources management. Directly relevant to today's event, Strategy 3.3 clearly notes our commitment to creating a favorable investment and business enabling environment. Thus, we can say that what we are doing now here is part of the implementation of our strategic planning DNA. One of the first major reforms was the introduction of the Myanmar Investment Law in 2016. The Myanmar Investment Law offers investors a more transparent, more liberal, and more protected investment environment, bringing our investment enabling environment further in line with international and regional agreements. Changing this legal definition will allow foreign investors to undertake business activities that were previously restricted to companies fully owned by Myanmar citizens. The new company's law has also been designed to offer greater protection for minor minority investors whom we expect will contribute to a considerable improvement in Myanmar's ranking in the Ease of Doing Business Index. Major reform efforts have been complemented by the recent launch of MICO, an electronic registration system through which companies can now be incorporated online thus eliminating the need to physically wend your way to the registrar's office. With the launch of the company's law, we have been able to open up new economic sectors to investment. For example, in 2018, this administration successfully opened Myanmar to wholly foreign-owned firms operating in the wholesale and retail sectors, a move which has attracted solid investor interest from Europe, Japan, South Korea, and beyond. We have also begun to liber liberalize the education sector, opening the way for 100% foreign-owned educational institutions, as well as locally-owned schools and joint ventures. As noted earlier, we have made tremendous progress with regard to the development of special economic zones. I'm very pleased to report that the Thilawa SEZ has become a crowning success in a very short period of time, receiving a total investment of over 1.491 billion US dollars. This reflects the dollar value of those investments actually entering the economy. Investors from countries such as Japan, the United States, Germany, France, Sweden, Australia, China, India, Singapore, Thailand, and Taiwan have invested in the Thilawa SEZ, and there are many more eager to in enter Thilawa SEZ Zone B. Importantly, the Myanmar Investment Commission, MIC, has been reconstituted and is now under new management that will take forward the momentum of change and transformation. The new MIC management team is determined to turn Myanmar into a major regional trade and investment destination and has been urged to take a much more proactive approach to investment appro approvals. The new MIC team is reviewing all processes, not only within the MIC itself, but also within other government agencies, with a view to establishing simple, clear, and predictable standard operating procedures, together with a single window approach to services delivery. We recently launched, launched the Myanmar Investment Promotion Plan, which aims to attract more than $200 billion through responsible and quality business over the next 20 years, facilitating Myanmar's trans transition to a middle-income country. The government established the Ministry of Investment and Foreign Economic Relations, MOIFA, 
MOIFA has been mandated to address the needs of the state and its people with a focus on facilitating an investment-enabling environment, furthering regional cooperation initiatives, and enhancing the quality and effectiveness of Myanmar's cooperation and coordination with development partners and international organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, those who know Myanmar well will know that this country offers the possibility of immense returns to investors who are both patient and innovative. To assist investors in the process of identifying investment priorities in a more strategic, transparent and open manner, the Ministry of Planning and Finance and the Ministry of Investment and Foreign Economic Relations have developed a project bank, a rolling database consisting of major transformative projects that have been screened, appraised, and prioritize such that they are ready for implementation with the most appropriate source of financing, be it government budget, development assistance, or even through private sector financing by way of private-public partnership mechanisms. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that it is now obvious that Myanmar is committed to creating not only a favorable, but also a predictable facilitative and friendly investment environment. As Southeast Asia's final frontier market, final and best, we hope, we offer innumerable investment opportunities. Investment opportunities are everywhere in Myanmar. Some are plain to see, others are waiting to be found. I stand here to reaffirm our commitment to continue our reforms and to build an investment-friendly environment. We only ask our investor to in, investors to ensure that their investments are responsible by incorporating environmental, social, and governance factors into their investment and business undertakings. So please do come to Myanmar, soaking in an atmosphere, brimming with opportunities, and witness our newfound economic vibrancy with your own eyes. Before concluding, I would like to say that our greatest investment is in our people. Everywhere I go, I see our children, bright and innovative, and they are the insurance of our future. And they are also the insurance for the future of investment in this country. So please invest in our people, in our potential. I wish all of you the very, very best as we go forward in our business-to-business -business engagements and also in our people-to-people -people relationships. We value the deep, genuine, and mutually beneficial friendships that can bring peoples and businesses together for the benefit of all. I wish you and this summit every success. Thank you.